Hey there, welcome to another SVGA tutorial. My name is Matt and today we're going to be tackling how to create this cool handwriting effect. Now this is a two part series and in part one, we're going to be going through the basics of how to animate strokes using stroke offset. And then in part two, we're going to do similar process, but a little bit more advanced on how to animate strokes to add just an extra bit of flourish and flair to your animations to really set them on the next level and to really make them pop. So hope that you'll join me and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the project. All right. So jumping into the project, we have our Friday word here. I wish it was Friday. It's actually Tuesday while I'm making this, but if this is Friday where you're at, congratulations. I hope you're having a great day. So we have our text here. We have Friday. And what we want to do is start animating that text to make it look like it's that handwritten style. And so I've um, created this using the pen tool. And so these are just paths. And so a series of paths, some are connected and some are not. So this chunk right here, this is all one path, um, which is super handy. That's going to come in great later. But for right now, I just wanted to show you that I have this in white just to show you how I've created this. But um, what we're going to do, so under here, I've already done a little bit of pre-work. You don't have to worry about most of this. This is this badge up here in the upper left. That's pretty easy to create. And then strokes, that's going to come later on in the part two of the series, the more advanced section. But we can just not uh, pay attention to that for right now. So just forget about that. What we want to focus on right here is this Friday. We're going to actually, the very first thing I'm going to do is open this up and I'm going to grab all these layers because I want to change the color and I'm going to change it to something almost black, but just a dark purple. That looks pretty good. So there we have, we have Friday in our background. We're going to close this up and we're going to select it. And then I'm going to go command D or control D and I'm going to copy that. And this one is going to be our very first animation. And so this is my first color. So I'm going to call this one blue. And I am going to, like, once again, grab all these layers. Open this one up, grab these two. And I am going to pick this blue color from the same badge here. Cool. So I have these grouping of layers. And for me, Mentally, what my what helps me is these are going to animate sequentially. So I know I'm going to want to start with my F here. And my F starts here and then it loops around and then it finishes right here. And then I have this cross section that I also want to animate. So I'm just going to go ahead and call this one. This is the very first step one that I want to animate. And then this guy, I'll go ahead and name this two. Then this one is three. I'm going to call this one dot just because it's that little dot above the eye. We'll call this one. This one is actually comes at the very end. So I'm going to move to the top of the stack. This one we'll call five. Call this one six. And this one is seven. Didn't mean to lock that. Okay. All right. So I have them sequentially in my mind. And this just helps me understand that better. So this is the very first one I want to animate. And in order to do that, I want to come, let's see, we'll go three steps. One, two, three on our timeline down here. And then I want to animate the stroke offset. So I'm going to animate the stroke offset here. And right off the bat, obviously nothing's changing. So we're going to want to move this keyframe. Let's move it up to the one second mark. And then we'll add a new keyframe here because we want it to start. So we want to remove the stroke from the start because we want it to animate on. And so in order to do that, if I scroll down over here, so I want to make sure that right now my dashes and my length are the same, but I want to apply my length. So this number here, which is the length of this entire stroke, I want to apply it to all of these dimensions. So I'm going to go here, copy to, and I want to copy it to my offset and my dashes. Once I do that, it removes the entire stroke. 
So if I were to play this right now, it's going to animate on. The only problem is it is animating from this point instead of from right here. But that's okay, we can fix that. So instead of it animating from this point, what I want to do is go back into here and I want to scroll down. And I just want to make sure that this is set to minus. So I put a little minus sign there, hit enter. Now when I play it, it's going to animate from this point right here. Perfect. That's exactly what we want right there. Boom. Great. Now we want to go ahead and maybe I'll come through like right here. And I'm going to select number two here. This is our little cross beam. And again, animate the stroke offset and make sure that my we want to copy that to offset and dashes and then we want to let's go maybe let's see one two three let's go maybe three so what we're doing is i'm creating keyframes and i'm sort of going by feel so whatever this animates the speed at which this animates well this section here this little cross beam is shorter and so the timeline on my timeline that animation um, is going to be shorter but I don't want it to be too fast, so I want to try and match the same speed. And so that just comes with a little bit of finesse, a little bit of trying to figure out, um, you know, what feels good. So I'm going to make this zero here at the offset. And so if I play this again, we animate there, and then that animates on. That feels pretty good. Now right here, let's go ahead, actually, let's go back to our one second mark. And let's go ahead and we're going to animate this big section. So this is kind of fun because we'll get to see a lot happen right here. And once again, I'm going to animate the stroke offset. Make sure that we have copied stroke. Yeah. So that matches. So that's gone. And now we're going to go two seconds. So one, two. And I just want to make sure my offset is set to zero. So let's go ahead and play that. Very good. Cool. So now I want to move this starting keyframe to like right here. So it starts right as that cross beam ends so that we're getting, yes. Perfect, I like that. Now we're into the dot. So this is just a lot of the same techniques over and over, but the dot, I want it to come in right there, I think. So let's go ahead and animate. We'll put in a keyframe. So offset stroke. Let's move this one right there. This one's gonna happen real fast. And let's make sure we copy offset and dashes. Perfect. Nice, all right. So we're moving along. So right about just as this ends, maybe right here, I'm going to start this animation for this little spot. And we're going to go again, just like we have been. Stroke offset. And make sure we copy that to offset and dashes. And then let's go again. This is another fast one. And make sure this is zero. Okay, good. So as that's animating, we might shift this over just a little bit, and then we'll start the animation for the smile section. Again, we're gonna go with offset stroke, and we're gonna move this, copy two. All right, so we have that, and now we want to create one more. Let's go. See what this feels like. It might be a little too fast. Oops, and it's going in the wrong direction. So let's go back to the start of this keyframe and make sure we add, remember we need to add our minus because I want it to go from left to right. So now if we play, cool. And I actually want, just in this one, I kind of like this stroke with a little bit of ease. So I'm going to add an ease in out, and let's see how that feels. Yes, it has just a little bit of an interesting motion. Cool. And then finally, 
this last one here for the last time. Stroke offset. We got that. And we want to close this up. This zero. Let's see how this feels. Yes, I like that. It's feeling really good. I like the way that motion is going. So now that we've created this and we're happy with our movement, all we need to do now is I'm just going to take this blue Friday and I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to rename this one. This one's going to be, just want to name this one pink. All right. So I could either go in and select all of these and change the color of them. Or another trick here, something you might want to try is add a filter here. So if I add a filter, I can go to hue. And then down here, I could change that hue till I get to a pink that I like. Okay, so just by adding a filter, I've adjusted this whole thing here. So instead of adjusting each layer individually, I have added a filter to this um, folder as a whole. And so using that hue, I've created this. This is now pink. And so now what I want to do is I want to grab all these keyframes that belong to my pink. And I just want to move these maybe forward. One, two. Let's see what that feels like. All right. So I like that. And let's do this one more time. And let's change this to white. This is going to be white. And this one, I'm going to adjust all these. So I want to select all these layers. And I want to make sure that they are white. Cool. And again, I want to select the keyframes that just are with my white frye. And I want to move those forward some. Maybe two. Okay. So let's see how that feels. Very cool. So what you can do if you want, if you wanted to um, kind of tweak some things, is you can play around with just how long certain of some of these animations take. And that will add just a little bit of variety to some of your motion. Maybe I want my, maybe I want this guy to be a little bit faster. I'll move this guy up a little bit and these ones up a little bit. So it just closes the white a little bit faster. Boom. So it's totally up to you. You can tweak the timing of those things. But there you go. You have your Friday. It's Friday, everyone. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this part one of this tutorial. Um, I'm going to dive into part two here in just a moment to show you how do you add the little animated strokes. So there you go. All right. Enjoy.